Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a, I guess a requested video from a couple of my mates out there who have spotted my beautiful vintage Speedy 25 Classic. And one of the things I was asked was to share how I basically revamped this bag. So I don't think I've actually featured this bag on my channel yet, so it'll be kind of a reveal and then just a little talk about what I did to the, the little Speedy to make it more user-friendly to me, to kind of spruce it up a bit uh, to, to my liking, and maybe that's something that might appeal to you or give you some ideas if you happen to find a vintage Speedy that just needs a little bit of work or maybe uh, change it up a bit so it'll work more for your lifestyle. So without any ado, here she is here. So this beauty is from 1994, so she is quite old, but I love the older Louis Vuitton because I just know I, I like the canvas a little bit better. I love the patina on the Viquetta. I'd rather the brownish or the honey patina over the raw kind of lighter color. That's just my preference because I love that kind of vintage look. This one I was able to get from the BST on Facebook for only 200 and I think $60. So this was a steal because these retail new for a thousand thousand dollars, but to find one for that price was pretty amazing. Now the reason why it was that cheap was because it did need a new zipper slider. So here is my zipper now. Okay, so basically what happened is that I got the bag, I took it to a cobbler down the road. I didn't take it to Louis Vuitton because I didn't want to wait weeks and weeks and weeks for them to do it. I didn't know whether they were going to do it and all that jazz. So I just took it to my local cobbler and they just replaced the zipper slider. They didn't have to do anything to the zipper. The zipper was fine. They didn't replace that. All they did was this bit right here that you, not the actual zipper pull, but the slider bit had, well, the zipper had snapped, like the zipper pull had snapped completely off of it. So they just replaced that for me and I think they did an amazing job. So the zipper still works beautifully. So that was the first thing that I that I did to the bag. The other thing that I did when I first got it is I gave it a good clean. I gave the Viquetta a nice good clean. I'll see if I can pop some pictures up of before and after. I think I've got them somewhere. I'm very bad at taking before pictures. I just kind of get a, get right into it to uh, to vamp up these bags without taking pictures before. I really should do that. These bits, the chats and the handles and the trim and everything and the sides. So what I ended up doing is I got some baby wipes, which is a good you know way to clean the Viquetta. And I also use some saddle soap, but you have to be careful with saddle soap because when you do use it, you need to condition your, your vaquetta straight away afterwards. Don't leave it because it will dry it out a little bit. Then I also used some URAD. Now I have talked about URAD in a previous video with my Alma and URAD is mainly used on older leathers, especially on like Louis Vuitton bags. I wouldn't suggest you use it on, young, on newer vaquetta because it's not really designed for that but it's a great conditioner, protector. So the one I have was kind of a cream, so it did leave a little tint on the Viquetta when I did it, but it's not permanent, so it does wear off. And I have already had to redo this bag because when I took it in to have the zipper slider <laughs> uh, replaced, I don't know how they were storing it, but I got black marks on the handles right here from it being, I think, against, against the um, hardware. So I've actually had to clean and redo this bag already, which I don't mind. Uh, when I did do that, I also I actually had to use the, that magic eraser, which I don't really suggest you do because it can abrase the leather a little bit and it can, it can really dry it. If, if you've got older kind of leather that's more prone to cracking on your bags, just be very, very careful. But I did it because I had a whole bunch of black stuff here, like on the edges from this hard, this these D-rings here. So I used the Magic Eraser and I did re u -rat it. And I also used Brasso to shine up these rivets here a little bit to remove the uh, buildup on there and the D-ring bits. And now these D-ring bits here d do have some like tarnishing to them that I will never be able to get out, but it's fine, this is a vintage bag, right? I also was able to shine up my lock here, which I don't have the key, so I can't get it off. It didn't come with the bag, but got that nice and shiny. I didn't have to really do the zipper or the zipper pull, but I did do all, as I said, all the rivets and all the D-rings and the lock. So, and that turned out really pretty, as you can see. The last thing I did to this bag, which I do not suggest you doing unless you are planning on keeping 
the bag forever. If it's a forever bag, you're never planning on selling it. You don't ever want to take it back to Louis Vuitton for any reason because they will not touch it if you if you alter your bag. Okay. Before I go into that, I want to discuss uh, why this bag looks so shaped. One of the things that I have inside here is a uh, stuffer, like a bag shaper, sorry, bag shaper. And I got this idea from Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover channel and it's by the original club. So here I'm taking it half out. And basically these are pillows that are designed in the shape for certain bags. And this one is for the Speedy 25. So it just pulls right out like this, really easy. And it's in the shape of the Speedy and you can get them, I think, for, I'll, I'll link the link below, um, but you can get them from all different bags and not just Louis Vuitton, but other brands too. But they do, I think, specialize in Louis Vuitton ones. So I actually did get this the other day and I've been popping it in my speed. See how much of a difference it makes? If you look at how it was before and how it is now that I've taken it out. So I did have that in there, but I needed to take that out so, so I can show you this other thing. Okay, so I don't know if you've noticed during the video, but see these little earrings things here? Of course, these don't come on the classic bags, right? These, this, so this is something I added myself. And as I said, don't do this unless you're planning on keeping the bag and just not selling it or taking it back to Louis Vuitton because yeah, it's probably not, it's probably frowned upon by a lot of avid like Louis Vuitton people out there, but I love it. Okay, so these are screw back D-rings from Amazon. And what I did is I got a hole puncher. I'll put up, pop some pictures. I can't find where I put it. Pop some pictures up of what, what I got. And you basically put it in on either side here, the machine, and you clamp it down. And it's basically what you use if you're putting more holes in belts. Okay, it's like a belt hole puncher. But you can use it on these bags. And I saw it on another video that I watched on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I need to do that because that looks so cool. And you punch it through and it makes a little hole. And you make sure that you size up the punch bit to the screw back like bit that goes through, if that makes any sense. So you want it the same size, you don't want it bigger or smaller. So you want it the size of the bit that's gonna go actually through the hole, like the screw back D-ring bit. And then, so here it is on the other side. You see that? And that is basically a screw. So then you pop this bit through and you pop this bit through here and you just screw it together, okay? Easy as, it took me maybe five minutes to do this. So I've got it on both sides here. Yes, I had to go through the leather chats and through the canvas. So here on the inside here. Just be very careful where you line it up. I line it up basically where the um, stitching comes to a peak, like down the bottom there on both sides. So I made sure it was even. And then you just screw, you use a little, you use a flathead screwdriver. First of all, you just screw them together. And then you, then you use a flathead screwdriver just to kind of make it tighter. And every now and then I tighten these up because they do come up loose from having to you know, by using the bag. And, they, and then you have D-rings on either side to add a messenger strap. And this has totally changed this bag for me. I can use this cross body all the time now. Um, and it is so much more user friendly for me now. So this is the, the strap that I usually use with my bag is this woven strap. You can put a monogram strap, a piquetta strap, any type of thing on here. But I like to use this one because it is thicker it goes over my shoulder really nice. It's just right, like right here. It looks it kind of looks nice, right? It's got this bohemian kind of look to it. So that is how I like to use my Speedy with that strap. The last thing I have inside here is a base shaper that I also got from Amazon. All these things I got from Amazon, I will link below for you guys. This is um, a apricot brand, you can see that. And uh, really cheap, like 20 bucks, I think, but it, makes a big difference. See how it's kind of really squishy without it, which I mean, you don't need it, need it, but I like it. It adds, it just kind of makes it a little bit more sturdy for me. And then see how it makes it just a lot more sturdy. So that is the last thing that I basically did to my Speedy. So those are all the <laughs> little alterations, additions, revamps that I did to my Speedy, Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. I hope that gave you guys maybe some ideas about maybe how to make your Speedy a little bit more user-friendly for you. Um, but you know, as I said, do these at your own risk because it, it can change the value of the bag if you're looking at selling it later. If, you, if this is a bag that you're gonna keep forever, like me, I, I'm not planning on selling this. I love, even though the canvas is a little faded or whatever, I just love this bag because there's no cracks on the trim, there's no cracks on the leather. I love 
how this Viketa looks and everything, how it's nice, there's no cracks on my handles. So this, this bag for me is a forever bag. So if that's you and you wanna make your bag a little bit more user-friendly, then maybe give these things a, a try. I'm not saying you should, uh, because I don't wanna get in trouble by anybody out there saying, I did that to my bag and I ruined it. Don't, I'm not saying do any of that, but these are just some ideas about what I did to my bag to make it so I can use it for all sorts of things and not just have it as a wristlet or a handbag. Make sense? <laughs> all right, guys. So if I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please um, give me a like and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything like that. I'm happy to help out. And thanks for watching and I will see you next time.